What's up, everybody? Welcome to my new series, Let's Play Ride and Eat. That's a good pun. I'm your host, Chef Natalie, and I'm going to be bringing you plant-based recipes every week and tips and tricks how to make cooking in a van not suck and super tasty. We're really excited to add this into our repertoire. If you love following us on our travels, you will love being able to eat well. Today, I'm going to be making vegan jambalaya. I absolutely love rice dishes. I'm Puerto Rican. I grew up on rice. So any kind of rice dish I'm for, it's a one pot meal, so it's super easy to make and super flavorful. But before we get started, I need my beer of the week. Hialeah IPA, which is from Cigar City Brewing in Tampa, Florida. This is one of my favorite brewskis. It is very sprucey. It's got some clementine notes. So the orange flavor is gonna go great with jambalaya, sausage, and spice. We gotta drink this thing correctly keep forgetting to pop the top. Make sure you pop the top before you do that. Cheers. Oh my god. It's so good. Jambalaya is a Cajun Creole rice dish. Typically it's got andouille sausage and shrimp, sometimes chicken, and but today we're gonna do a vegan sausage. I'm gonna be using field roast vegan sausage. It's a smoked apple sage. It's one of me and Abby's favorites to go to. I like to switch things up so you will find that if I'm making a traditional dish, I usually add my own element to it, and that's absolutely fine. That's what cooking's about. So we'll call it loose jambalaya. So I've got all my ingredients here. I'm gonna start making a veg stock again. I'm gonna touch on that one more time. I've done this three times in the video, but I just wanna let you know that all the veggies that go into the dish all the peelings that I can use or any of the scraps is what I put into my veg stocks and just water. So that's gonna simmer until it comes to a boil. I'll let it simmer about 10, 15 minutes and then I've got my stock that's gonna go into my rice. Always wanna have something flavorful. I don't like to use water if I can use stock. So I'm gonna start by cutting my aromatic. Typically in a jambalaya, there is a holy trinity. So those are your veggies that you start with. That is gonna be green pepper, onion, and celery. I gotta be real though, we were in South Dakota and they only had like one grocery store and it was so expensive. So I did not buy celery. I thought it was ridiculously priced. So I'm gonna be doing fresh garlic, onion, and green pepper. And a little bit of carrot actually. So the carrot, again, not typical, but I like the sweetness that a carrot brings to a rice dish. So we're gonna put that in there. So I'm just gonna start chopping my garlic. So the easiest way to get fresh garlic out of the skin is to just take your back of your knife the side of your knife and smash it and that will loosen the skin and then the clove will just pop out. So all of our garlic skin and all of our veg skin is going to keep getting put into the stock, okay? It's just going to make all the flavor come out. So I'm actually really excited because we have another guest coming to eat with us tonight. So she will be here any minute and we will surprise her with the camera. <laughs> and with dinner, so I'm excited. Pro tip on how to cut a bell pepper. I'm gonna turn it to its side. I'm gonna cut off the top, turn it around, cut its butt off, turn it back up, and then I'm gonna make one slice down and then I'm gonna put it on the table like this. I can just go back through and get all the white off. Look at that, boom, 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 no seeds. And from here, you can slice it, you can dice it, you can however you wanna do it. And since this is a spicy rice dish, like I said, I am gonna put the seeds and the inside pulp into my stock. Because we like it spicy, gotta add a jalapeno. So now we've got everything cut that's gonna go in the dish. Okay, so we have a quintet, we have a gaggle of vegetables that's gonna go in as our base. Green pepper, onion, carrot, garlic, and jalapeno. We also are gonna be putting some tomato paste and diced tomatoes in there. We've got some cilantro and green onion, which will go in later. I'm actually putting peas in this. Um, I don't think they are typically in a jambalaya, but we like that sweet pop. You know what's really funny? When I was a kid, I hated peas. My mom said that I used to eat them and just like stuff them in my cheek and let them fill up until she wasn't paying attention. I would like spit them out everywhere. So I've come a long way. Um, Abby really likes lima beans, but again, this freaking store was so expensive and they're like $2 more. So no, we are on a budget. We live in van life. This is van life eats. 
So this is our spice mixture that's gonna go in the dish. I will have a link in the description of everything that I put in here. But this is garlic powder, onion powder, bay leaf, dry thyme, dried oregano, dried basil, this is paprika. So the veg stock is almost done. I'm gonna strain that and then we can start sauteing our vegetables. In the meantime, gotta go outside and see what's going on. Hey babe, your wine's in there. You should uh, have a libation with me. What do you Maybe think? I will. Did you hear that? She's behind the camera. That's also the cool thing about this series. We wanted to be able to work together. I get to work with my wife. I mean, that's pretty cool. She films, I get to cook, she gets to eat it. I'd stick around for it. <laughs> Let's start sauteing. I'm using olive oil. Olive oil doesn't have a high smoke point. I'm gonna keep it on a medium heat. I just like the robustness of olive oil for this dish. You can use a neutral oil. You can use coconut oil. You could use an avocado oil has a high smoke point. But since I'm using olive oil and it does not have a high smoke point, I'm gonna keep it at a slow simmer, which is fine because I wanna do it low and slow. I'm gonna start with my vegan sausage. Now in a jambalaya, you wanna you start with your meat, which is actually awesome because it sizzles in there and it caramelizes and so you get all those crusty bits of the meat and then you add other vegetables and you can deglaze the pan and it just brings out all that flavor so to try and achieve that bold flavor of jambalaya i'm going to do the vegan sausage first so the reason it's okay for me to use olive oil that doesn't have a high smoke point and i can do it at a medium simmer is because vegan sausage does not have as much fat as regular meat, so I can still achieve that caramelization, that brownness on it at a low heat. So we're gonna do that. Oh, oh yeah, so that's what you want. You wanna get that nice brown caramelization on there, like my skin tone. So I'm just gonna flip them, give them a few more minutes, and then I'm gonna pull the meat out instead of the side. Just like last week, I wanna keep that caramelization and if I start adding liquid to it, it's just gonna make the sausage soggy and that's lame. So now that my veggies are in, I'm gonna add all my spice mix. Again, you want all your spices to get cooked in there and incorporated. Mm. I wish you could smell this. Oh my gosh. As the veggies are sauteing, I'm gonna add some tomato paste. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I wanna add my tomato paste now before liquid so that it can also toast with all the spices. It's just gonna help bring all that flavor together. So I'm gonna let this toast for a few minutes. Oh, that tomato paste smells so good in here. All those spices. I feel like I'm in New Orleans in the middle of the city right now. Having a three for one IPA because they have that kidding me? All right, so now that our vegetables and our spices and our tomato paste are all incorporated, they've been sauteing, they've got a nice caramelization to them. I'm going to add the rice. So I've got about mm, two cups of rice in here. I'm using jasmine rice. It's just one of my favorite rice to use. Mix everything together. It's going to give the rice a minute to toast and just get all the flavors. Now I'm gonna add my stewed tomatoes. I'm gonna flatten everything out. And I'm gonna add our veg stock. For the veg stock, I'm just gonna add, I wanna cover the rice. So again, I am not huge on recipes. This is a big deal that I'm writing recipes for you guys. I've got about three and a half cups of stock in there. The way that I check is the rice I flattened out I'm gonna put my finger, my clean finger, down, and the stock comes up about, yay, the first little indention on my finger, and that's how I judge it. So you can go with that method. It should work out. So, and I'm also not going to stir the rice. So the rice has a lot of starch. I don't wanna to touch the rice because it's just gonna start making it more, the starch pull out more. Once the stock is in, I don't touch it. I'm gonna cover it. Once it starts to bubble, I'm gonna cut the heat down to a simmer and we will cook it for 20 minutes and then we will come back and see what we got.
hear my friend coming down the driveway. Hey! You see the hair on his back? He knows her, but this is what happens every time you meet someone. So it's actually good to make us, make us feel safe. He, he means well. <laughs> it smells so good out here. <laughs> what are you cooking? It's your power cord. <laughs> yes. For your fridge. And then Big I don't problem know. solver. More mail. More mail. Oh my God. Deliver. Personal delivery. Are you excited? First things first. Fix the fridge. All right, let's check this. You guys ready? Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. Yeah, liquid's absorbed. Oh my God, look guys. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, you guys. So this is my jam. The bottom of the pan, when it gets crusty, that is where you, oh my God. My grandmother used to save this part of the rice for me. Puerto Rican rice and beans. It was called pegao. was the bottom of the rice that crisped up and she would save it all for me. And I'd have a whole plate of just the crispy rice because it's amazing. Okay, so now that it's cooked through, I'm gonna add the peas. We just bought frozen sweet peas. So they are thawed and they are just need to be warmed. So we're gonna throw those in there. We can throw in our caramelized sausage. That's it, we're gonna incorporate it. I'm going to check the seasoning for salt and then we're going to put a couple of couple of shakes of some fresh herbs. I just have cilantro and green onion. Obviously, if you do not like cilantro or green onion, you can omit it. The one other thing that I am going to top this with, I'm going to make a simple sauce. So we bought this unreal vegan mayonnaise. It is not vegan mayonnaise. It is Sir Kensington's. We just happen to like this a lot. It's made with aquafaba, which is chickpea water. If you don't know about chickpea water, check it out because it's amazing. But this is a chipotle vegan mayo. Like what? So I think it would go great with this. So I'm going to just drizzle some on top for an added touch. There you have it guys. Vegan jambalaya, vegan sausage, agave chipotle sauce. If you're interested in making this, we will have the link in the description for the recipe. Also, if you're enjoying these cooking videos, make sure you like and subscribe. We will be traveling in some videos and we will be doing these every Wednesday, so stick around for some more eats. What's up, everybody? I'm gonna drink that. It's like the numb checks from the last video. <laughs> Jalapenos. Ew. <laughs> I was hoping that sounded like hell yes, not penis. I said trinity, but really this is what? Quadrinity, because there's carrots. So you got green pepper, onion, carrot, garlic. Now it's a lie. What's a fifth? Quintrinity? A quintet. <laughs> dope, she makes it look dope, 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 dope. She makes it look dope, she make it look dope, she make it look so f and dope. Yeah, she makes it look dope, she <laughs> makes it look. Ow! She's burning her fingers. <laughs> no, it's like the lid on the backside, the steam is burning my foreskin. Yo, this, the, um, forearm, forearm skin, the forearm skin, the forearm skin, but you can use, um, I was going to say gender neutral. You can use a neutral oil. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm here with my third concept. Let's play ride and tour where me and Abby take you around to some of our friends and their dope setups. Our first contestant is my friend Shelby, who came eight hours to visit us today. Check out what she's got going on here. 
Look at this setup, guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was so... <laughs> you, you woke me from my slumber. <laughs> Yeah, so, Ma, sorry, I was uh, taking a Here nap in my nap here tent. <laughs> this is her nap here tent, okay? This is set up on her truck bed. Okay. Tell us a little bit about what's going on in here. Uh, well, it was a bitch to set up. <laughs> oh my god, I tried to help, it was horrible. It, we were sweating her asses off, it was, it was a She thing. lost the instructions, okay? I lost them. Ikea, It's pretty straightforward, nightmare. you would think, right? No. To be honest. Ain't no van, let me tell you that. <laughs> But we figured it out, look at this. And then I got a little air mattress that fits right in there. Dude, look at how fits, this slides in. It fits <laughs> over the wheels. And yeah, so you can hang some shit up there. And oh my God. There's windows with bound and <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the view, you can just take it all in. What else, uh, what else you got going on with this tent? Is that pretty much, uh, pretty much the, uh, the setup? You know, she's got a mat. I've got a welcome oh, mat. Oh, she's got a welcome mat. That's important. That's really, really nice. Is. Yeah. That's a good feature, Shelby. Like, you really thought of everything. I, I tried, you know. <laughs> I did try. <laughs> it just cracked my knee. Ow! I just hit my head. <laughs> So that's this episode and only episode of Let's Play Ride and Tour with my friend Shelby. If you want to see more Let's Play Ride and Tour, then leave a little comment. <laughs>